Joshua chapter 10, the Israelites are still moving into the promised land and, well, taking the promise. What God has told them was theirs and they're fighting against those enemies, those inhabitants of the promised land. And there's five Amorite kings that come against the group of the Gibeons that are in, you know, they're in a pact with Joshua and they know they're going to be defeated, these Gibeons, so they call for Joshua to come and help them. So Joshua prays, he hears from the Lord, and the Lord tells him to go. And Joshua finds victory with the Lord. But it's a very, well, it's a once in a lifetime or even in the biblical time, in any time, experience the things that happen. Not only does he defeat these Amorite kings and all those who are coming against the Gibeons, but God sends a hailstorm that kills most of them. And then because the time draws short, Joshua asks for something that, well, it's miraculous. Listen to Joshua 10, I'll read verse 12. It says, then Joshua spoke to the Lord and the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said it in the sight of Israel. So he's defeating all these kings, five of them that come together. And he prays to the Lord and he says, Sun, stand still over Gibeon, and moon in the valley of Ajalon. So the sun stood still, and the moon stopped, till the people had revenge upon their enemies. There was not enough daylight for them to finish fighting these people. So he prays, and God stops the sun. How does this work? Does the world stop rotating? Does, does, uh, how does this happen? We don't know. But we do know this, that the sun stopped and time stands still. Now, how many of us would love to be able to say time stands still, that our kids wouldn't grow up, that we wouldn't get old, or on and on you could go with extending time. But he does it and God does it for a reason. And Joshua asks it for a very specific reason. This is why he asked. He asked for this reason, that God be glorified, that his word be obeyed, that his people might triumph, and that his name be known among all the generations. God stops the sun when his purpose is needed to be accomplished. And it's an amazing thing. And I, I don't know if God would ever stop the sun for you or me, but I know this, that he, he is involved in his name being glorified, his word being obeyed, his, his work going forth, and his people triumph. So in difficult times, hey, we pray, especially if what we're doing is his work, not just accomplishing our own purpose. I mean, we all have different desires and needs, but I think as believers, as followers of Jesus Christ, as we look at Joshua 10, boy, does God ever step up to the plate when it's about his purpose, his name, his people, and his work. It's a great principle, it's a great lesson. Joshua chapter 10, what a miraculous day in the life of the Israelites and in the life of Joshua. And for a God who's above all other gods to be honored and to be glorified.